Hello everyone, Rand here and welcome to uh, Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin Map on Farming Simulator 17. And oh my goodness, course play, course play, course play. What have you done? Uh, I just want to preface this by saying uh, course play was doing a great job about five minutes before whatever happened here happened. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but um, yeah. Wow. Course play. Really? Seriously? Oh well. Let's uh, sort this disaster out. Let's get you off of there. I think the uh, the choppers here are being derpy with their turns. That's what's giving us a lot of trouble here. I thought once we'd uh, be done with the headlands, we might be good, but apparently that is not the case here. Uh, let's get you out of there. You're good. How about you just go somewhere out of the way? You were like almost full. Of course, play. you're not helping the center by, like, returning to the mess. Eh, first waypoint, drive the course, that'll get him out of here. What I'd like at this point for the to happen would be the chopper to get out of here. That's kind of what, probably what's holding us up here. Uh, anyway, again, for those of you who have not seen the last, uh, let's see here, two episodes on here. We have set up a massive chopping operation that is uh, turning into a massive derp simulator here. Course play is just doing some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen here. Uh, let's see, you're full. And you know, I'm thinking uh, the best thing at this point is going to be just to turn off pathfinding. I think that is what's causing like 75% of our issues here. Uh, despite what everybody keeps telling me, oh, you got to have pathfinding on, you got to have pathfinding on, uh, I think not. I don't know why that truck's heading for the stop point. Um, you, of course, play. The, the, the start point? Oh, over there, right? Uh, boy. Of course, what is wrong with you? Like, literally. Uh, first waypoint. Look, see, he's going to the first waypoint. Oh boy, oh boy, that's fun. Uh, anyway, let's get you going. Have we got this mess sorted out yet? Not quite. And then there's a whole bunch more somewhere else, apparently, unless this is still everybody yet. Now, there's another chopper in traffic here somewhere. Oh, wait, you were the one following the combine. Never mind. You can stay there. Okay, everybody else here should be good to go. Yes, I know they're bunched up here. Is that because... Oh, you're going to go. Okay, yep. That That's not such an issue. Uh, this, though, is an issue here. I don't quite know why this keeps happening. Of course, I used to be pretty good about uh, doing the turns without getting into any trouble, but uh, as of late, that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, wait, one, only one in traffic at the moment. Well, that, that's actually predictable there. If he's on loan, he'll be in at traffic. So, yes, let's just uh, check the map here a minute. Uh, we're doing uh, okay, I guess, on the chopping. We're probably, what, half the field done here or so. Actually, maybe not even quite. Yeah, it's, it's maybe small half the field done. You can see, uh, let's see, let's turn off maybe this here. Does that help? No, that doesn't really help. How about this? That would be nice if... Ah, uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. So we can actually see what's uh, going on here at the moment. So yeah, I can see we got uh, just about done with the headlands here. I think there's, what, two choppers? Three? Looks like three choppers that got to make it around the headland here yet. Looks like some sort of craziness happened over here. I'm not sure what's up with that. And I caught that there, of course, but I see what's... Oh, okay, they, they cleared it out. Looks like the other one ran into the back of the other truck there and uh, had it all up in the air. But, uh, yeah, we're making progress here. Like I said, uh, before I started recording, it was looking uh, pretty good. But then, uh, yeah, I guess course play. Oh, we're going to start recording. Let's uh, all crash into everything and uh, make this look as bad as possible. 
Wow. <laughs> I think we're good as soon as that truck dries. We'll sh we should be fine. Uh, for those of you, again, did not see the last couple episodes here, we got 14 trucks and trailers running on this field with eight John Deere 8,800 series choppers. So we're making a pretty good progress here on the chopping. Again, we don't quite have two trucks per chopper, but we're pretty close to it. Seems like we're keeping the uh, choppers running pretty good here. And again, we are definitely getting a lot of chaff. I don't think we'll fill the uh, Silo King up, but I guess you never know. As of last episode, there we almost had 3 million liters of chaff. And we'll have to remember to check here maybe in a little bit. Grab one of the trucks there, just stop it, pull it up underneath the spout. I don't have any way of seeing in the game here under the menu what the fill level is. So I can't really tell that without actually, you know, pulling the trailer up underneath the uh, Silo King there. Uh, for normal crops, whatever is in the Silo King will show up in the menu here. And by menu, I mean this screen over here. So if you put, like, weed in there, it will show up here. But apparently chaff is not listed up here with that I'm seeing. Unless I missed it. So yeah, apparently chaff is not a storage item up here. Apparently you can't just uh, straight up sell chaff then either. Okay, really course play, really. See, this is what I'm noticing. Uh, it's almost like course play just insists on crashing into itself. I mean, you, you could see where a truck was going straight down the field, and then another truck was, let's just say, several meters or several feet over from the other truck. They would have passed perfectly, but no, they both turned into each other and crashed into each other. Now, in this case, I don't know what happened here, but... Uh, See, you can see they almost, like, turn into each other. Seeing a lot of that going on here. I don't know what's up with that. Of course, it doesn't seem to be doing too good on its uh, pathfinding around obstacles. Like, I'm just kind of curious. Let's maybe just... What is this truck doing here? Okay, perfect example here. Perfect. This truck is full. He should be going to the start point, which is over there. No, notice where my mouse pointer is. He's over there. He was coming down, you know, he was probably over here somewhere. Look what he did. He curved out of his way and headed straight for this trailer. Why? I'm, what? This is the part I'm not getting about course play here for this chop, and why is it being so excessively derpy? I mean, I understand it's going to get in traffic with all the equipment on this field. But then, like, why is it insisting on, like, running into other equipment? See, this is the direction it should have gone. And again, I'm suspecting here this pathfinding activated is causing... I'm going to just say probably 90% of the issues we're having here at this point. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. That truck's all jackknifed up, isn't it? I mean, like, what are these trucks even doing here? Is this one full? This one's full, too. So if he's full, you know, why did he come drive into this truck? Again, he should have been over this way. And by the way, if you don't tell him to start at the first waypoint there, they seem to be excessively derpy and don't know what they're doing. Speaking of being derpy, what are you doing? It's like he can't make up his mind here what he's doing. Anyway, hope you folks are enjoying the uh, the, the derp level here. Uh, I will have to say it is rather amusing seeing how uh, crazy course play can be. And Wow, trust me, it, it can be crazy. I suppose on this level, I probably should have like gone with all in-game equipment just to see what's what would have happened with that. Because again, using modded equipment here, that obviously causes issues. But we got modded choppers. There might be a problem with the modded choppers here. They don't turn properly. That could very well be the issue. I don't know. Uh, the trucks here, again, they, there could be something wrong with these trucks here that's causing the issue. Uh, in-game trailers, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, of course, they should work with the in-game stuff. Uh, that is a good piece of advice there, by the way. Uh, for course play, 
course play is supposed to work with in-game equipment. Uh, anything outside of the game, in-game equipment, just be aware you might have issues with. So the John Deere choppers here, these trucks, which is something to keep in mind. You know, if the modder didn't do something right, it's very well possible. Yeah, this is something I don't get either. And as somebody said, yes, you could go in over here and correct this vertical offset, I believe, is the one you want to change here. I don't know why course play is driving so far ahead. That is another issue that's going on here. I don't know if that's the chopper. I don't think it's the truck. Stuff going on here. And as I mentioned, too, I think this is the first time I've ever actually course played the choppers like this never done this before so this is uh, completely new to me so completely new levels of derp uh, course play is achieving here yeah, surprisingly nothing nothing in traffic here at the moment which makes me think i should just tab through everything make sure they're all working are you full he is full ah okay so now why what direction am i facing here yeah i'm facing the the direction I thought it was. Why is course play going that way? Why would he not go that way? Again, first waypoint. Over there by the bridge. In fact, it's under the bridge over there. I think that's the one we were just in. I think we caught him just in time with some... Oh, he's kind of doing a turn here. That's why we're having some issues. Okay. Oh, we're not doing nothing here, are we? Ah, should have figured. Should have figured. Come on, course, we get out of the way. Yeah, this is kind of the problem here, too. Why is the truck so far ahead of us? That... That is definitely a big problem here. Okay, what can we do about that truck? How about you just uh, send driver home? You just get lost. We, we don't want you over here anymore. Let's see if we can get a better driver. Just watch what he does here. Again, it's the pathfinding feature that's causing him to go around the field that way rather than just cut through the field. Okay, folks, uh, another prime example here. What was I talking about? Uh, about uh, the trucks here just driving into the choppers? He was doing just fine until he got here and it's like, oh, chopper, drive into it. This is what is getting annoying. I don't know why it is doing that. You know what? In fact, Let's, uh, let's cut out the stupidity here. Pathfinding off. Uh, let's turn this nonsense off on all these vehicles. Just see once if this makes a difference. Just tab through them all here a minute. Uh, turn that off. And then I realize here it doesn't sound like something you want to turn off, but... Uh, Almost all the time I do this, I end up turning this feature off. It's probably okay if you have one chopper, one truck, or maybe two trucks on the field, but uh, it's my opinion here so far. I think if you're running multiple pieces of equipment here, you're going to be much, much better off. Okay, another prime example here. Full. Why did he... And I don't know where he came from, but why was he crashed into the chopper? He's full. The empty point, the first waypoint, again, over there. Oh, how many more we got to go through here to turn this off here? Two more. At least if I started out at the beginning, anyway, it should be two more. Yes, there we go. So pathfinding has been deactivated. Uh, we'll see if this uh, curbs some of the nonsense here. Might create uh, nonsense of other sorts, too. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, you did end up being in traffic here, didn't you?
And you're not going to unload the chopper anymore, are you? Fine job, Corsplay. Fine job. Looks like something was going on here. Let's tab it up here a minute. This, is, again, is pretty much going to be Corsplay uh, managing simulator here. Come on, where's the chopper? Oh, wait, that's why. Let's turn it back on. That would probably help. There we go. Okay, what do we... Oh, circle of der derp in reverse. Uh -huh, I see, course, but I see, I see. I don't know what's up with these uh, choppers doing the circle of death in reverse, but that's getting a little old as well, I'll have to say. Where'd the truck go? Oh, the truck's there. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, what do we got going on? Oh, they're just all empty. Okay. Let's maybe uh, take one of these trucks here. How about the one that's emptying right now? And when he's done, we're going to pull him up underneath the spout there. Just to see what's, how much is in here. I'm going to guess maybe... Three and a half to four million at this point. Uh, for those of you watching the Broad Acres series, by the way, we're basically doing the same thing on there as well with uh, course play, just not as many choppers. In fact, only one chopper and two trucks at this point. Hopefully that's uh, at least a couple more choppers at some point, but got the exact same setup as far as the uh, Silo King here goes. Got a Silo King placed outside the biogas plant there. And we're running the chaff to the Silo King. Uh, did I go past? Oh, there it is. 3.7 million. Okay, so I'm off by a little bit, but not too far there. Well, actually, I guess what I, I said three and a half to four, didn't I? So, yeah, I'm, I'm like right in the middle there. Okay, you can go back and just drive your course again. Let's see, how is everybody else doing here? Boy, feeling kind of bored here right at the moment. I mean, course play, uh, nothing in traffic. Which makes me, again, want to go check and make sure everybody's working okay. I don't know if this is uh, course playing so being so derpy about the turn or just the way Farming Simulator has its hired workers that's causing that issue there. You're just waiting on a truck. Uh, oh, you're, you're kind of stuck, aren't you? Wait a minute, you're the same, didn't I? Yeah, I fixed you, didn't I? Uh huh. Maybe try to get in between these. Got to make sure here when we uh, start this one, he starts on the waypoints that are over here. Not, say, that one or the one that's coming up here. That would probably not be good. So, get maybe about halfway in between both of these here. We'll uh, give this a try. Okay, how about in there somewhere? Next closest waypoint would be good. Looks like it's good. Excellent. Okay, you still managed to crash into each other. Like partially full. Oh, you're probably heading to that chopper. That's why. That's kind of odd. See that? Okay, no, wait. Yeah. Where he was here a moment ago, that looks like about where he should be for the chopper. Not so uh, stinking far ahead. No, no, you don't need to be crashing into the truck here. I've seen you turning this way. Right, okay. Uh, collision in the back, maybe? Uh, this is something, you know, possibly where maybe there's something wrong with a collision on this truck. It's not properly detecting, uh, you know, if something's in front of it. I don't know how that works exactly, but that would be my guess there. 
No, I don't need a chainsaw. That was a weird leg spike. Okay, back through tabbing through the choppers here again. We didn't quite make it through all of them there. Uh, you're waiting on a trailer. I don't know why you'd be waiting on a trailer. We got trailers sitting at the stop point there waiting. No, oh, okay. He must have got a trailer. He, this is the one that was waiting a few minutes ago, but uh, he's a little further down the field this time. Uh, why are we stuck over here? Chopper is 515 meters ahead of you. Trailer too far forward, probably. That is probably what happened. Yep. That's what I say. You think everybody's working, even though you don't have any air messages down in the corner. You know, somebody's in traffic or slipping or something like that. Just tab through, double check, make sure. Uh, if there's no problems, it's just too good to be true with course play, you know. This should be an interesting turn. Yeah, course play is not doing well with these turns, that's for sure. Let's see if the truck actually gets out of the way here or not. Anyway, I'll uh, read a few comments here a moment. Uh, uh, Tobias was saying the wheels under the Ropa mouse is because they have a rule in Germany with the amount of weight per wheel. So they put a few smaller wheels to take some of the pressure off the main wheels. And again, did a review of the Ropa DLC there. And in particular, we're talking about... Speaking of talking about, this might actually work good for the chaff and silage, wouldn't it? But yes, yeah, so underneath the uh, mouse here, there are some additional kind of look like dolly type wheels under there. And I was mentioning that in my DLC. It's Boy, what's up with those? Those look kind of funny under there. Okay, you could complete your turn. I, I did pull the truck out of the way for you. I think this is where it still wants to be followed by a truck, even though it's not chopping anything. Okay, wow, of course, but just, you know, a basic uh, three-quarter circle would have been uh, sufficient to make the turn, but whatever. Okay, you're full. Out of curiosity, where did you come from, and why are you uh, behind the chopper? Yes, of course, but I know I asked the silliest of questions, right? Oh, circle of dearth. Circle of death. Ooh. Uh, or circle of dirt, whatever you want to call it. Or course play circle of shame. Maybe we should call it the circle of shame for course play. Uh, drive course. Again, I don't know why it keeps doing this. Uh, yeah. That's probably something with a chopper there, possibly. Uh, it's trying to make a turn it can't make. I don't know, again, why it necessarily does that, but oh, you're stuck in this corner. Again, this is where the uh, silly course play driver thinks he needs to be followed by a trailer, even though he's not chopping anything yet. Oh, and traffic. Okay, yep. Wait a minute. Well, how did this one get turned around? You're full. So all of these are going to unload here. But this one's like facing the wrong direction. This exactly, by the way, is the reason why I haven't turned up the uh, speed on these. 
I know a couple of people mentioned, you know, just turn the speed up. Yes, you could do that, but, uh, oh boy, I hate to think the uh, level of derp you would experience. Okay, why is Course Bay, like, just running into stuff down here? We had one that was facing the wrong direction. This one, like, peeled off and decided to crash into a bridge support. That was close. Just about rolled that one there. Anyway, we're, we were trying to read some comments there, but uh, course play is, uh, I guess, doesn't want us to do that or something. Uh, CS12 Gaming was saying you should put your server up again and uh, play on it for a stream. Uh, when it comes to the multiplayer servers, the uh, multiplayer servers are always online, unless something's wrong with them. Which, again, is a reminder, by the way, for anybody that would like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, information is in the description below there. Again, we ask that you please just join us on TeamSpeak, and once you're on there, you'll get all the information for the actual Farming Simulator multiplayer servers. Ooh, this looks like it might be a problem here, maybe. Nope, maybe not, maybe not. I do question why course plays on this side as opposed to the other side, but whatever. Also, I question as to what happened here. Please wait while the uh, chopper runs me over. Uh, yeah, what, so what happened here, course play? This is like some sort of, oh, course play must have like done some sort of weird turn or something, and then did like a loop, oh, what? who knows, who knows? We can make all kinds of assumptions here as to what course play did. I don't particularly want to know any of them, I don't think. Anyway, everyone, looking at time, looks like it's about time to wrap up the episode. So that you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, may the derp continue.